close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel the breathing, and notice if it's comfortable. If the breathing doesn't feel comfortable, you can change the rhythm, you can change how deep it is, how heavy it is, fast, slow, long, short. Try to find what kind of breathing feels good for the body right now. Think of the breath nourishing the entire body, because without the breath, the body wouldn't live. It's the breath that keeps everything alive, the inside the body. It keeps the mind and the body together. And when you can stay with the breath, you've got a good, comfortable place to stay. It gives you a good place to be grounded as you go through the day. This is called meditation, or bhavana in Pali, which means to develop. It's one of the three forms of merit. Merit is a word in Thai, bunya, or bun or bunya in Pali. It's hard to translate in English. What it basically means is ways of finding happiness that are harmless, that cause no harm to anyone, and actually benefit everybody all around. You think of the ways we look for happiness in the world normally, and so many things we gain, somebody else has to lose. Or we, like we eat something, nobody else gets to eat it. We use something, nobody else gets to use it. We use it up and that's it. Only a few people can use it, perhaps. But with the happiness that comes from merit, when you're generous, when you're virtuous, when you meditate, everybody benefits. When you're generous, okay, not only are the people who directly receive your gift benefiting, you're benefiting as well as you develop the quality of generosity in your heart. And you're also setting a good example to the people around you who see that act, to remind you that this is what makes human society livable, the fact that we're generous with one another, either with material things or with our help or our knowledge. But it's having a generous heart that makes human society a good place to live. Similarly with virtue. Virtue basically means that there are certain harmful things that you are not going to do. You make a promise to yourself you're not going to kill, steal, have illicit sex, you're not going to lie, you're not going to take intoxicants. And as you hold to that, you benefit because you're not causing harm in ways that are going to come back to you, you're not harming the people around you. And it creates a good quality of the mind. You can look back on each day and realize you haven't harmed anybody at all. That's a sign of a, good, a day well spent. And then as you meditate, you're getting the mind to calm down. And when things like greed or aversion and delusion arise in the mind, you see them and you're able to say no, because you have something better to stay with. You have the breath, you have the sense of the mind being concentrated here in the present moment. And when these things don't take over your mind, then they're not going to take over your actions, which means, again, that you benefit and the people around you benefit too. So these three forms of merit, generosity, virtue, meditation, are special ways of finding happiness, a happiness that when you look at the consequences, you realize that this doesn't cause any harm to anybody. All too often we go for happiness without thinking about the consequences. We go from one pleasure to the next pleasure to the next pleasure, without stopping to think about what is our pleasure doing to us, what is it our pursuit of pleasure doing to the people around us. Is it depriving them of anything? Is it setting a bad example for other people? Got to think about the consequences, which is why merit is such a special form of happiness. You look at the consequences, and there's no harm at all. In fact, there's a lot of good. A lot of happiness gets spread around. So try to look for happiness in these three ways, and you'll find that you'll be rewarded and the people around you get rewarded too.